Good day, Grade 10. In this final lesson in preparation for your June exam paper 2, we're going to be looking at Ernest Rutherford's experiment. Okay, now it says, in 1910, Ernest Rutherford directed positively charged radioactive particles into a thin sheet of gold to investigate what atoms were made of. Okay, he expected many of the particles to be deflected backwards, but noted that most of the particles passed straight through the sheet of gold, while only a few were deflected and bounced back. These results led to further development of the atomic model. Okay, that's not exactly true. What actually happened was that Ernest Rutherford was working at a university, and he wanted to show his students um, the size of an atom and the fact that an atom actually existed. And at the time, they assumed that the atom was kind of like a solid ball, and what he thought was that if he shone nice big um, particles, alpha particles, through this thin gold foil, then what would happen is that these alpha particles would cause there to be a big hole in the gold foil and there would be a big mark over here on the detecting screen. Okay, But what actually happened? What happened was exactly what they described, that some of the particles did pass through the sheet of gold, while only a few were deflected and bounced back, okay? So what happened was that they realized that there was something wrong with their model of the atom, okay? So it says, describe the model the atom and science believed was true before this experiment. So like I said, what happened was that Rutherford believed that the model was a solid, okay? The atoms were solid and there were equal distributions of positive and negative electrons and protons, okay? So that's what they thought, okay? Now it says, why did most particles pass straight through the thin sheet of gold? Well, what happened was, and actually, if you, I'm going to expand this a little bit, okay? What happens is now, the atoms are like this, actually, okay? And they're not really circles, but let's pretend, okay? So they've got these small nuclei with the protons in them, okay? And then very far away, very far away, are these electrons that are going round. But remember, this isn't a solid at all. There's mostly space. So what happens is, the alpha particle comes along, okay, and it goes la 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 la. And if it happens to go through this gap here, when the electron is through, it can go straight through and hit the screen, like that, okay? If, however, the alpha particle happens to come along here, ding, 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 and it hits the nucleus, what's gonna happen? It's going to be reflected or it could come along and be quite close to the nucleus and then what happens is it gets repelled and it gets deflected. So that's what happened. So some of the particles managed to go through straight through because they got that gap between the protons and the electrons weren't anywhere near it. Some of them got deflected because they were repelled because they came near the positive nucleus and some of them got totally reflected because they actually hit the proton in the middle of the nucleus, okay? So that's what happened. So because of that, some of the particles managed to go straight through, some of the particles managed to be deflected, okay? The results of this experiment led science to revise the structure of the atom, referred to three as the atom to describe how the model was revised, okay? So before they thought that the model of the atom was basically the atom was solid and there was a, con a wide distribution of the positive and negatives, okay? Now what they realized that was that the atom was mostly empty space, was mostly empty space, Okay, that's the one thing they've realized. Two, that the nucleus was in the middle with all the protons. Okay, with all the protons. And the other thing they realized is that the electrons had to be really small. and orbiting around the nucleus. That's what they had to realize. Those are the three things. Okay. Now it says, use the scientific method to explain how this experiment helps scientists develop a better understanding of the atom. Well, basically, if you want to think about this as an experiment and not a demonstration, what did he want? He wanted to show or prove that the atoms were solid and that there would be a 
hole in it, okay? So that was their hypothesis. They do the experiment, okay? And then looking at the scientific method, they do observations. And the observation is that some did get through, okay? Some got deflected and some got reflected. So because of that, they had to change the model of the atom to something like this. Okay, so that's how you look at the scientific method. So that grade tens is Ernest Rutherford's experiment. You guys need to know it very well. You need to also be able to draw this picture here, because they like often they often like asking to draw or label, draw and label or draw or label the picture. So please understand it. And this picture here on the right hand side, they love asking. Teachers love asking you to use a diagram to explain this, explain why this happened. So please go study this as well. Have a great day.